Right people, welcome to my next project. It's a Volvo V70 2.4 D5 diesel. So it's a really good spec car as well. As you can see on the outside, it's absolutely filthy and looking a bit sorry for itself. Really looks like it's been neglected to be honest with you. On the inside, the same theme continues. It's filthy basically. Carpets are filthy. Look down the sides down here. It's disgusting. There's fingernails down there. There's dog hair down there. Wait, I'll switch this radio off. There's dog hair down there. It's just filthy everywhere. Look at it. Needs a proper clean. In the back, same story. Absolutely filthy. Look at that. Ugh. So, this is my project. Look at those wheels. I haven't seen wheels that dirty for a long time. See me under the arches, look. Disgusting. In the boot, we have got an absolutely ruined alloy wheel. I've never seen a wheel break like that in my life before. I don't know how that's happened. But apart from that, the boot's actually the cleanest part of the car. The carpet's even clean in the boot. Got a few dog hairs here and there, but nothing bad. There's some broken glass in the floor well in the boot, which points to it having had a broken window at the back at some point, but nothing unusual really. Let's keep going round. Usual scum on the boot edge. And this is, we're getting round to the sort of more interesting part of this car now. Keep going up the side. The eagle eyed amongst you will have spotted the sticker on the windscreen up there. Now what that points to is it's a co-park car. And the reason it's a co-park car is because of this. Somebody's crashed into the side of it and they've bent that wing in. See that? The wheel is also damaged, so it needs a wing and a wheel. And if you look there, you'll see that wheel's turned. And that wheel's straight. So there's something up on the suspension, so we'll need to check that out as well. The idea is to have this car fixed and on the road for less than £600. And if we can do that, that's a hell of a car. Because this thing is fully loaded, it's got heated seats, cruise control, air conditioning, memory seats. And look what else I've got down here, best of all. I've got a car phone, look at that, so I can drive around kidding on a Michael Knight. Hello, kit. <laughs> anyway. Right, so, we've got the Volvo in, and the first thing we're going to do is, we're going to find out what's causing this wheel to bend in. Uh, so I think it's a track rod end, so we need to get the wheel off and have a look though, to make sure. So, we've got the wheel off. And the track rod end is definitely 
you can see where this is all, all the surface rust has came off. That's because the tractor den's bent and it's all fallen off. So we've got a tractor den in preparation. This bit here, the rack end also looks bent. So luckily I preempted that as well and I got one of them. They're only about 10 pounds. So the rod end was 10 pounds and the tractor at the end I think was maybe 15 or round about that. I'll put the proper prices up on the screen. So let's get them off. Right, so I'm going to change the front wing now. You can see it's all bashed up. So we've got some rivets here to take out. I think looking at the new wing, or the replacement wing, there's a bolt under here. Um, there's some more rivets over here, and I think there'll be one, some stuff under the bumper. So I'm hoping we can just pull the bumper out to get access there. But we'll find out as we go. Need to get the splash guard out, I think. Let's crack on with it.
So, we've got it all built up. Got the wing on in the right colour, and the colour looks a good match to the bonnet, so I'm quite happy with that. The new wheel's on. A couple of wee marks on the new wheel, but matches the rest of them, so that's okay. And the new track road end and the tie bar is on as well. So the wheel's pointing straight. I've driven the car up the road and it drives really nice actually. So all that's left to do now is clean it. Total cost so far for the car is around about £550, including purchasing it and the repairs. So I'm really quite happy with that. Now as always, I like to ask people a wee question and get people commenting and involved in the comment section. This is no different. So, have you got a story about a cheap car that you've owned? And what was it and what, what was the car? And what was it like? Did it turn out to be surprisingly good and you done thousands of miles in it? Or was it an absolute money pit and you wished you'd never bought it? Have you ever had one of them? Let us know in the comments box. Thanks for watching and tune in next week for the big clean because this thing needs it. It is filthy. Thanks for watching guys and girls. Bye.